We are back in the RV after a trip with the girls down to uh, down to the desert, and we are getting close to finishing out our trim here. I just need to finish out this bathroom here and the bathroom over here, and then the toy hauler area needs some trim as well. And I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do after that. No time to waste, let's get going. So both the bathroom and the closet are now, now have trim for them. Um, now I need to take all of this mess, kind of put it into the center, and uh, move all of that out of the way so I can do the trim, so I can do the trim for the border here in the toy hauler. Okay, this is all trimmed out now. So I think that's all of the trim that we need is made now, except for some of the trim that goes in the closet up here in the master. I think I'm going to try and figure that out after we're all done here and maybe moved on to the property. Oh. All right, so I got some stains here to try out on our trims that go on the stairs there and on the front of the slide out here. And so we're gonna just kind of try these out Put them on a sample and then hold them up and see what Whitney likes best. Next thing we gotta do now that we got all our trim cut out, we gotta start painting. Now some of the boards that I have had a little bit of uh, mold and mildew on them, so I'm going to start staining them here with some kills. That should seal it up and keep that stuff from getting out. So I've got a ton of stuff to prep with that and hopefully pretty soon uh, Whitney will be home and pick out which of these uh, stains we got. I'm This one over here is a little bit more red than the floor is, I think. Um, this one is the closest match, um, but I'm curious if she may want the dark one. So I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure Whitney's going to pick between one of these two here, and uh, we'll, we'll see which one she, she decides she wants to go with. Until then, we just got a lot of priming to do. chose the darker stain surprisingly. Husbands, always ask your wives what paint color they want. Because sometimes they'll surprise you. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. It looks kind of a little different based on each piece of wood. Sometimes it's more brown, sometimes it's more black. Uh, but it looks pretty good. I'm gonna install those today and we'll paint everything else a little later. Installed now. It's looking pretty good. I like it there. Got there on the door. I like that. The door there. And the trim here. And then one more over here. So I'm pretty happy with that. That looks good. I think next thing, start priming the backs of all the other trim. And then uh, get rolling on that. Okay, the next area that we're going to be tackling is this wall here. Um, we ha had some of this stuff here covering there, but when I took off the countertop, that section came with it. Now we've got a wire here that I had to account for, so I've put some furring strips to bump this out a little bit. That way the shiplap will go over the top here. And then I'm just going to cut out pieces and run them along here and then do a uh, trim along the side so I think that that will cover it I'm just going to put in all the way down to like right here for right now and then once we get the countertop in then we can put in the last one on there there on the bottom I think that'll look good when we get the trim here on the sides and uh, paint it up. I think that'll be nice. Not too bad. I like it. All right, now what we got to do is start chiseling off this uh, wallpaper that goes along the middle here. After that, I just need to take everything out of the bedroom and bathroom area so that we can get start taping that off for paint. All 
right, everything's all cleared out now. Starting to tape off the areas with the shiplap. Gonna finish touching up those with the primer. And then I think I'm gonna start taping off all of the fixtures and all that stuff so they don't get paint on them. It's been a couple days, been taping off all of the windows and everything. And now we are getting ready to take the spray gun on its main voyage. I'm going to be trying to put primer through it. Uh, so that's gonna be really interesting to see if it can do that. Just gonna get spraying here real quick. I can't really record cause I don't wanna get paint all over my camera and all that. So um, we're just gonna get going with that. Uh, we have something special for this week. We have our first sub mail. Uh, thought we would, thought we would film it and uh, yeah. just kind of see what, what we got. Let's do it. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, moose mud. Yes. A bunch of it. I am a fan of this. Okay, so there's a couple different flavors. We have M&M's and, oh, they're peanut M&M's oh, yeah. and yes. M&M Minis Moose Munch. Yes. Oh my gosh. I've never even heard of this before, but this looks amazing. It's from Harry, um, well not from, but the people who make it are Harry and David. Yeah. And it's a, it's the best popcorn on the planet, I, bet, I guess. So that sounds delicious. Yes. On the box, there's a little note. It says a message for you. Hello, Kevin and family. Home run is within your reach. Cheers. <laughs> it's from Ryan and family. So thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. Ooh, this is cool. Wow. This is fancy. fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Especially on our budget. We don't get out much. We're living in a basement. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Wow. Wow. Bunch of cookies. Yum. Thank oh, you they're guys. They're really beautiful. Yeah. I okay. Bet they, I bet they're soft too. So, a buttercream frosted Yum. celebration cutout cookie. And this is fun. This one's a lemon cookie. Oh, and this one's kind of like an oatmeal pie, Ooh, yeah. it looks that's, like. That's the one that's going to be going in my time. Yeah. Oh, it's gingerbread. It oh. says it's a gingerbread cookie. Yum. Is that a different one? I think it's a buttercream sprinkle. Is that the one I said? Oh, yeah, no. Is these ones and then there's chocolate. Oh, Olive's going to like this because of the colors. Yes. <laughs> buttercream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Buttercream frosted there. cookie, and then a good old. Ooh, chocolate. Yes. Chocolate, chocolate chip cookie, and then your old faithful standard chocolate chip cookie. So yeah, I really, I kind of want the gingerbread. Okay. That sounds yeah, really I think, good. I think oh, actually, I might want moose munch. Yeah, I don't know yeah, where to I, start. I can't really decide. Thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys, this is awesome. I'm so glad. <laughs> You're ready, Chief. Okay, here's the package. You ready? So inside, we got a this gift. Is, sit down, sit down. This is a gift from someone who watches our YouTube channel sit and, down, and girls. their family. Ready? <laughs> Set. Whoa! What are they? So we had some issues pop up here. Uh, as you can see up in the top there, the paint didn't really stick. And that's because it's been raining for the last couple days. Um, so it's kind of a bummer. You know, you work really hard to get everything looking nice. And then something like this happens. I never have done anything in an RV before. Um, but clearly, you should not paint when it's raining out because RVs are very leaky, I guess. So uh, that's unfortunate, but we're just going to keep moving along and we'll touch this stuff up later. For now, we're just going to rip up all the tape and live in it as is. And so we can get going and get on the property in time to, uh, to do all the things that we need to do. wheel 
taking down the tape after painting. It's been kind of a rough morning because some of the paint did not work out so well. But we're just gonna keep on moving. Say hi, Kevin. Hello. He's not very happy right now. <laughs> um, but this is boring, but this is our life right now. Overall, with the mistakes, we're still pretty happy with the way it turned out. At least I am. It's so much lighter and brighter than it was before. Um, and I feel like I won't be living in a cave. So overall, I'm pleased. There's some areas that I'm gonna touch up. Kevin, um, give this five stars painting the fifth wheel. Is it one out of five would not recommend? Uh, no, I would. Just do it when it's not raining. Yeah, yeah, we had some condensation problems. That was not fun. Yeah, you can see all of here yeah. and down over there. We didn't run the humidifiers last night. It rained all night or the fans. I don't think the humidifiers would have done anything. I, I don't think it would have prevented that. It would have helped a little bit. But yeah. yeah but I, I might put some wallpaper here. So it's, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine, everybody. Don't worry about it. I told Kevin if you squint, it looks pretty good. Hey, we're noobs, but anyway, woohoo! That's all we got for this week, guys. Thank you so much for joining in. And as always, if you found it entertaining or informative, please hit that thumbs up button. This helps us a great deal. And if you're interested in home building, light homesteading, or the debt free lifestyle, then consider hitting that subscribe button because we got lots of cool stuff coming up in the future. Catch you guys next time.